Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media. All right, guys, today is 4A, 2024. It's me, Brandon Nagley. Showing you guys the biblical signs in the heavens that Yeshua, Jesus Christ, warned to be seen before a second coming. Right now, it's between 3.08 to 3.09 p.m., guys, in northwest Ohio, 10 minutes away from Toledo, Ohio, watching the supposed regular solar eclipse if it's really just the moon eclipsing you know going um, passing in front we know biblical wormwood planet x earth's twin sun is also at earth's doorstep and guys the skies are getting very dark i'm looking through a window i do apologize if it looks crappy but i'm not trying to go out today um for the many specific reasons I gave. Just to be safe, but I am looking through the back window and um, the sky is blackening, guys. It's going gray. It looks like we're about almost at the full eclipse mark any second. Um, hold on, what time is it right now? We got 310, 310, guys, exactly that number, which is also the most well-known pre-tribulation rapture verse that Yeshua Jesus gave in Revelation 3, chapter 3, verse 10. It's also the number I've been seeing like crazy for the past few months, okay? Now, as you see it, it looks like this, it's, the sun's going to get fully eclipsed exactly at 310 right now, guys, as I'm going into 
Wow, everything is completely black. I'm, I'm in the path of totality, for anybody wondering. I'm in the complete path of totality right now, guys. And it is getting black. Really black, like scary black, okay? <laughs> I do apologize. People get upset, me bouncing my camera around and stuff like that, guys. It's kind of hard sitting under a window, leaning your arms on a ledge. Trying to watch this as it's killing my neck and my back. So anybody complaining, you know, try doing the same thing with your neck and back hurt. Wow, it's complete. Guys, it's going completely black. Oh my gosh, hold on. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. It is black, guys. Whoa, oh my goodness. That is black. That is really, the whole sky is pitch black, guys. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's completely black. Wow. It's nighttime here, guys. We're in the nighttime era now. It looks like nighttime. <laughs> oh my goodness. Talk about signs in the heavens that Yeshua Jesus warned about before his second coming. You guys are looking at it right here. What's so vital about this solar e eclipse, guys, if, if it really just is a solar eclipse and not another body um, eclipsing the sun, which we have the whole planet X system that came in between 2002 and 2007, with now the main body, planet X, also known as Wormwood of Revelation chapter 8, the fiery red dragon of Revelation chapter 12, the destroyer, both in the Old and New Testament that God used to bring the ten biblical plagues in the days of Moses. When Moses, by God's help, led the Hebrew Jewish slaves out of Egypt to freedom. Well, God used the destroyer, Planet X, to block the sun exactly on April 8th, guys. And the same thing is occurring today. That's why this is also so biblical, not including all the other biblical signs going on with around this eclipse, you know, like it's passing over multiple places called Nineveh, places called Rapture, Indiana, places called Economy, um, Texas. It's like God's giving warnings left and right, guys, but will people, are they paying attention, you know? The Bible says that, that the sun would go black, turn black, and the moon would turn to blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord. I 100% believe that's what this is right now. We just had the blood moon, and now this total solar eclipse passing over me. Again, I'm sorry if I'm shaky. It's it's hard sitting down like this, guys. It's killing my neck and my back. If you see crap on the windows, I do apologize. It's really nasty and foggy on this back window. Um, hold on, guys. Let me try to get something to cover this. Give me one second, okay? Hold on. The glasses, hold on, let me try to put this through the glasses mode, okay, hold on. But yeah, I do apologize again, hold on guys, I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it. It's just odd that we're not seeing it, hold, hold on. It's weird, isn't it? I can't see it through the glasses like I could before. I'd actually put the solar eclipse glasses over, you know, over the um, the phone. You could actually see it being eclipsed, okay? Again, I do apologize. Not the best footage, but I just want to show you guys how amazing that is. And, you know, this is a major biblical event, guys. Major. I've warned of certain things that insiders have let out that could occur today. Um, will they happen? I can't say that 100% with surety. 
Only God knows certain things and timings, okay? Especially those that, that were rapture date setting so on for today. Guys, don't date set for judgment in the rapture, you know, the biblical rapture and biblical judgment of seven years. The Bible says only God knows the exact day and hour, but the Bible also says you will know by all the signs in the sun, the moon, the stars. You know, and on the biblical signs on earth, when it's near and even at the doors, as Yeshua Jesus said. You know, which Yeshua Jesus is not only just God's only begotten Son, He's God in the flesh at the same time and fully man without sin, who took all the world's sins on the cross, on His body, and died for all the world. John 3, 16, Yeshua Jesus said, for God so loved the world. He was speaking of Himself, by the way, guys. He said, for God so loved the world that He gave us. He was talking of Himself when Yeshua Jesus said this. He said, for God so loved the world that He gave us His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him, whoever believes in Yeshua Jesus, should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 14, 6, Yeshua Jesus said, For I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man or no one comes to the Father God but through or by me. It just takes faith. Coming to God, guys, and accepting Christ as Lord, confessing with your mouth, believing in your heart, as Romans 10, 9 to 13 states. Romans 10, 13 says, whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. It just takes faith. The question is, do you guys have faith? Because our time is literally about up. Whether something happens today or not, doesn't matter, guys. There's going to be stuff coming before the end of this year. I hope you guys all realize that, okay? And yes, the government was extremely worried today. They, they were given a heads up about people wanting to do us harm, okay, using biological type things on the masses while they're watching the eclipse. And I'm hoping and praying that does not occur, but, you know, that's one of the warnings the government got. They're not telling the people that, and that, you know, that disgusts me. They're not telling the people that. The other warning is that they, they know about is, see, the last time, okay, during the 10 biblical plagues, guys, all right? The skies, the waters turn blood red from the destroyer, Planet X, Wormwood of Revelation chapter 8, the fiery red dragon of Revelation chapter 12, Earth's twin sun, the brown dwarf star that is separate. Listen to me now. It's separate from Nibiru, the comet planet that is a comet planet. As the main original insider said, Planet X and Nibiru are two separate bodies. Nibiru is a comet planet. Planet X is which sooner or later will block our sun, darkening out the skies for quite a while, okay? Planet X is a brown dwarf star, right? Nibiru is a comet planet, much smaller than planet X, but still big enough. That's broken up into different pieces. You got Tiamat, you got um, other pieces to Nibiru, right? That are going around their own trajectories. You got planet X, it's got... Millions of miles worth of asteroid debris in his tail. They will start very soon, start coming down in, in waves. Okay, lately they've been coming in clusters, not only from Planet X's tail, asteroid debris, but they've been coming from a separate Planet X system body, which I believe um, would be Nibiru. Okay. Oh, somebody just wrote, um, talking about the solar eclipse. But, um, yeah, you know, you got debris coming, guys, I believe from Nibiru, because Insider Mike said it too, uh, not just from Planet X, there'd be um, uh, asteroid meteor debris coming, which I've seen in seven fireball dreams. I can tell you guys, millions are coming, and they will impact globally. They will kill many globally. They will set fires globally. I mean, I've had, you know, and it's amazing how God gave me that, well, I feel they were from Christ. It's like... Millions of others are saying in dreams and visions from Christ, not including all my other dreams from Christ, uh, Antichrist dreams, you know, rapture dreams, not alien, but fallen demonic beings coming uh, dreams or dream. And I knew they were demonic, fallen, inter interdimensional. And we know when the rapture of the church, the catching away of Christians that get caught up. Rapia more in Latin. Harpazo in Greek. Raptio. Rapia more in Latin. Raptio. Uh, Rapsora. Rapio. Okay, that's... And those words were translated by St. Jerome of the Latin Vulgate. They say, oh, the word rapture is not in the Bible. Well the, well, the word rapture may not be in the Bible, 
rapture scriptures are in the Bible, okay? It's also called harpazo in the Greek. The, the actual definition is the physical removal of the church or the body of Christ, the bride of Christ that gets caught up. Rapia more in Latin that was translated by St. Jerome of the Latin Vulgate a long time ago. So the rapture has nothing to do with John Darby, that those who say he just made that up. No. Jesus said in Revelation 3.10, he says, Because you have kept the word of my patience, I will also keep you from, or in Ek, Greek, our Bibles are from Greek, Aramaic, and Hebrew. Jesus said, because you've kept the word of my patience, I will also keep you from. What's from in Greek? It's E-K, it's Ek. Ek meaning from out of or out of the hour of what? The hour of temptation. It's the seven years of judgment that shall come upon all the world. God's wrath, God's judgment of seven years that shall come upon all the world, right? To try them, who's them? Those are unbelievers that get left behind because they reject Christ by their free will. Reject him as Lord, they get left behind. For those who dwell on the earth, right? Revelation 3.10, Jesus told you that. Yeshua, call him what you will. Yeshua, Yeshua Jesus, Jesus Christos in Greek, Yehoshua. Okay, he's got many names. Who Muslims call Esau the prophet, except one thing they got wrong. He's not the prophet. Okay, and Allah is a pagan, pagan moon god. There's a reality, guys. Okay, it's a demon over a religion. And in, in Islam, they will tell you God is a faraway God. You can't get close to him. That's such a lie, guys. That is such a lie. When you got Yeshua, Jesus Christ, who is God in the flesh and fully man, that's one with God at the same time, separate from God, came down, being also God's only begotten son, taking all of our sins on the cross, whipped, spat upon for us, his beard plucked out, thorn, a thorn of crowns placed on his head. Nails driven in his wrist and in his feet. Put up on a cross for our sins, guys. The, the Bible says in the Old Testament, and even Jews today, they'll still deny him. At least the, the fake ones will. We know during the seven-year tribulation, the real Jewish tribes will, will come back to God. We know that. The Bible says 144,000 and 12,000 in each tribe. One of those being the original tribe of Judah, the original Jewish people, right? Well, it's funny because they say, well, the Messiah is not in the Old Testament. Oh, yes, he is. It says, by his stripes, we are healed. It says, by, I believe it says, not, not one, one bone in his body would be broken. And not one bone in his body was broke. When the two thieves were on the cross, died next to Christ, right? Well, if I remember right, Yeshua Jesus died before them. So they didn't break Yeshua Jesus' legs. Just as prophecy states, not one bone in his body would be broken. Okay, but they broke the two thieves' legs next to him so they could suffocate to death while they're already hanging on the cross. It also says, by his stripes, by Yeshua Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos, stripes, by Jesus Christ's stripes, we are healed. He took those stripes on his body, guys, that you guys can see on the actual shroud of turn that covered the Messiah's body. It has the actual nail prints and the facial features and everything imprinted onto that shroud from when Jesus Yeshua rose again. Okay, the spiritual power of his rising again the third day. He died on the cross, he was buried. Okay, and he rose again the third day. And that power, that spiritual power imprinted onto that shroud of term. Okay. And they know the blood, which they originally accidentally, well, not accidentally, they took, it's like somebody purposely tried to make, the shroud looked fake. They tested a corner of the shroud, right? That was burnt in a fire. They knew this. They knew the part of the shroud had went through a fire, guys. They knew this, right? And then they were like, oh, well, they realized in medieval times when the shroud got passed down, somebody uh, sewn on a new piece to the, the tip of the shroud. So they tested the, the actual shroud and figured out it was back in Christ's time. They also tested the blood. And just like the one man that had tested another thing realized, they realized it was Christ's blood. It was the Virgin Mary's blood they found in the one Y chromosome, right? Which means it had to have came from a heavenly male. Who is that? That's God, right? All I'm saying, guys, our time is short. It's very short. We got biblical wormwood planet X coming in extremely close, coming up from the south ecliptic plane.
carrying with it millions of asteroid debris. Earth's already in a, a double wobble right now, guys. It's in a double wobble, okay? Meaning Earth's soon about to go into full mode pole shift when Planet X does its arching pass between the Earth and the Sun and arch passes over the Sun. It's going to lock onto our southern hemisphere and flip us, guys, okay? It's going to flip our poles. Insider Mike just said on my one of my last videos, okay, on his Council of Time website, he had just stated, Earth has less than a week. It's way less than that now. It's probably already at the point where, where the sun is going to start going insane. He stated that the sun's poles are getting ready to flip. They're magnetic poles, okay, because the destroyer, or what Mike called and others called the per perturber, is coming inbound. I, right now is the time of repentance, guys. Turning from sin and turning to Christ and accepting him as Lord. It's time to love and forgive another as God commanded us to. Yeshua Jesus said, if you don't forgive others, he will not forgive you. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He's the one that's going to be showing you your life in front of your face, what you did, guys, good and bad. You know, all the people you hurt, and you're going to feel the pain that you cause others. You get to see that in your life, what they call the life reveal, near-death experiences. That is no joke, guys. It's very serious, you know. And what's coming is no joke. We got millions of asteroid debris inbound. We got the United States that's going to crack in half at the New Madrid fault line. We're going to have the West Coast United States crack from massive quakes. We're going we're to have the East Coast crack from massive quakes and volcanic activity under the East and West Coast and under the middle of the United States. Am I saying the rapture and judgments today? Definitely not. As I stated in my last few posts, do not date set. But by all signs that Yeshua Jesus gave, he said the sun would go dark and the moon would turn blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord. Well, I hate to tell you out there that mock and scoff. Well, our Bible talks to those that mock and scoff. What does it say in 2 Peter chapter 3? It says in the Bible, it says, for they will say, mockers and scoffers, it says, for they will mock, there, there'll be mockers and scoffers in the last days saying, where is the promise? of your Lord, of Jesus Christ coming, right? They're, they're going to mock it. They're going to, like they're doing now, exactly as they're doing, saying, where is the promise of your Lord's coming? What does the Bible say? But this they are willingly um, forget that, not exactly how it goes, but it says, it's pretty much this they don't know, that one day is what the Lord is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is as one day. And the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but as long-suffering, being patient with us, not willing that any should perish, okay? Not willing that any should die in their sins and go to a real hell for eternity, but that all should come to repentance. It all should come to repentance, turning from sin, putting on a new mind, a new heart of love and forgiveness and accepting Christ as Lord, guys, and turning from sin. Whether that be drinking or drugging or homosexuality, for for those out there that say, "Oh God, it's love. Why would he? Why would he not like homosexuality?" What did Jesus say? He said, "A man should leave his father and his mother and be joined unto his wife." What does the Old Testament say? A man shall not lie with man or woman with woman, for it is an abomination. I don't care. If people don't like to hear that. That that is truth. It's not a God that hates you. And by the way, for those out, churches out there that say, say God hates fags or, you know, you see those churches like that in Texas and around the planet. Those are not Christians. Those are frauds. Those are wolves in sheep's clothing going to hell with the same people they're judging. Okay? God is love and he's forgiveness. And he said, number one, don't judge another, right? Based off your looks, so I like that. All right, I'm talking, but there is righteous judgment the Bible talks about. But what people won't tell those living in sin is God don't hate anyone. He hates sin, guys. He doesn't hate the sinner, as the saying goes. He hates sin. He loves those who he created. He created us to love one another, to love him to praise him to do right for another to have whatever our will is for your life that god gave you for you to do it before you leave this planet okay that's all i gotta say if you're watching on youtube um if you're watching on youtube guys read in the comment section 
how to accept Christ as Lord, my main notes, okay? Look down my post if you're watching on YouTube. If you don't know what's coming from the Planet X system, I got all my physical evidence down my timeline. You can see the Planet X system bodies and bot, okay? For those on Facebook, same thing. Look down my timeline. My main notes are above the video. Please see them to see how to accept Christ as Lord. It just takes faith, you know, just... It's a prayer from your heart like this, like, Jesus, please forgive me of my sins. I believe, uh, dear God, I, you know, you can start it out like, dear God or G dear Jesus, I believe that you died for my sins, Jesus, and that you, you were buried and rose again the third day for my sins, Jesus, or Yeshua, or Jesus Christos, however you guys want to call him. You see, it's, 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 it's like a sample prayer, guys, what they call the sinners or salvation prayer. It's not the prayer itself that saves you. It's confessing with your mouth and believe in your, in your heart. The must, Yeshua Jesus says, Lord, that he died for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again the third day, that whoever calls on his name, guys, will be saved, okay? By what Yeshua Jesus did on the cross for our sins, that you are saved through your faith in Jesus Christ, and by God's grace through your faith in Christ are you saved, not by good works or your good deeds that you do should anyone boast, guys. Love and forgive another, and I'll, I'll put out to accept Christ as Lord in the notes, guys. God bless. Hey, what the fuck? Hey, it was just two. Hey, it was just two light. Huh? It's two figures in the air. It's two figures in the air. It's three. Hey, it's like four on, bro. It's like it's like four suns lined up. Nah, that's like I see like it, it's like three 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 globes lined up together. Damn, I can't focus my shit. And them damn clouds, bro. That's crazy. Damn cloud, you can see it though. But where's like that's wow. Look then look at look at my light.
I'm on top of the bluff. Uh, I've never seen this before. It always looks like a UFO spun something down. And uh just walked up on top of the bluff and found this. Um, <laughs> We have a very interesting video coming out of Australia. This man was driving down the highway in the middle of the desert when he comes across the road split on both sides and outpours thousands of gallons of water along with millions of fish. Keep in mind, he's in the desert. He's not near the ocean nor creeks or rivers. So what could have caused this? Almost makes you wonder, is this emergence of a new creek, lake, or other body of water? Whatever it is. Our Earth is truly amazing. Something that should truly be impossible now is possible. Take a look at this and tell me what you think. Can people see this? 
Look at this. Look at the amount of fish that's millions and millions. This is like... Where did, where did it come from? That's the middle of the desert. And this is... They're trying to get up. That's the fish there, look. Look at that. You can't... This world is amazing, isn't it? Look at them going across on the road. They're getting through. They're trying to get up and go. Of my own mind. 